Okay, with your browser, navigate to raspberrypi.org slash download slash noobs. I'll highlight it so you can look at it again. And once you get there, download noobs zip. Not light, noobs zip. And once the download has begun, I'm going to cancel it because I already downloaded it. Once the download is done, then you're going to want to go to your downloads folder. In your downloads folder will be noobs v whatever zip. Just open that up, double click it, click one file, control A to select all of them, and copy all these files to your newly formatted SD card. I've done it already, so I'm just going to cancel, and this is what you should see on your SD card that you're going to plug into your PI3. Okay, that should be uh, class 10. You really can use class 4, because for me to watch movies, this is the only card I do it with, so it's a class 4 8 gigabyte card. And you're going to want to choose two operating systems off of this menu. You're going to want to choose Raspbian, which gives you your internet, and OSMC, which gives you your ability to watch movies. Now, this will take some time, so once it's finished, click OK, and the system will reboot again which it should do. And you're going to want to double click on OSMC because that is what we're going to be working with. Okay, it comes up. And what you need to do, it's easiest to do this with the keyboard, but um, you're going to choose your location uh, off of this and then you're on the following one you're going to choose your time zone okay choose your location and your time zone in that location I have America and New York for mine yours may be different I'm doing this slow so it doesn't bewilder you and make you pause this video a hundred times. Okay, now just toggle your way down to accept once you're done. And toggle your way down to accept again. And on the right hand side of the screen is continue. And that's what you want to do right now is continue. Now, you're going to want to choose OSMC as the skin. Don't choose another one because you won't see the same menu as I'm seeing. And now you exit OSMC. <clears throat> Now, here you've got to be quick because you've got to say yes, this time's out quick. Yes, you want to update. Yes, you want to update. OSMC. And up in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see a, a bunch of grow bars and uploading this and uploading that. And now, you need to say yes, I would like to install the updates now to Cody. This will reboot and it'll go through a bunch of other stuff, which I'm going to fast forward through. It'll download some files and put them all together. And now we're back where we need to be. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, move, move our uh, cursor on down to settings and click on settings. 
and we're going to go all the way to the bottom again and pick file manager it's very nice that this is all built into this and then we're going to on the left hand side we're going to work our way down to add source and click on that or hit the enter key now click on none up above and you'll get the uh, keyboard for this and then in I'm typing this with the keyboard so it's HTTP fire TV guru dot net slash fire and then type or click done I do it with the mouse here give you time to look at it and then it's going to say for a name just leave it fire I have no reason to change it okay now we're going to hit backspace on the keyboard and go back to the menu and move on up to add on browser and we're going to now install from zip file and pick fire as your zip and pick repository fire tv guru dot zip say okay oh, it'll say fire tv add on enable up in the right hand corner and then you say install from repository And then we're going to go to Fire TV Guru Repo. And then we're going to go to Program Add-ons in this category. And now we're going to pick, I don't know whoever thought of Blue on Blue, but this is Fire TV Wizard is what that says. Fire TV Wizard. And of course, going through all this, you might come, you're going to want to install it. Uh, dismiss this. And then install build. I don't know why we have to go through this twice, but it seems we have to. And dismiss the box again. Or remind me later pick one install build again all right now we got to move our cursor down until we see F 17 fire TV build Krypton v17 expect whatever that's what we're going to click on that's what we want to install. Now here we need to go down and do a fresh start then install. Fresh start then install. And just say continue. Click or cursor. Continue. And switch Okay, uh, right here we want to install. So install. Click on it or move the cursor and tap enter. And you'll get a, front, uh, a bunch of downloads. I'm gonna speed this up. I wish my internet was this fast, but it's not. So I'm fast forwarding through this because it's kind of boring. And then I don't install any themes. And force close Cody. Okay. And what you'll get is a frowny face. I don't know why he's unhappy. Anyway, a six or eight gigabyte. Micro SD card class 4 is good enough 
for the operating system because you're not going to be doing any heavy stuff. This is your TV PI3. Fire TV Guru. Movies. And that is it. All she wrote.